Nana here. In this video, we are going to have a look at uh, the arrows getting defaulted upon customer actually. So using the product transformation rules. So let me go on and have a look at it now. So first of all, let me go and then uh, have a look at uh, what's called uh, the item which has been assigned to multiple warehouses actually. I will not go to the product management. I go to the product information management and let me query of a standard item now. Click on it, then go to the browse now. Browse items the one. So if you query on standard item available in the system now, fine, it is already collected and refreshed and so CM65000 is so entering now. And you can now see that this item has been assigned to operations 000, Seattle is 001, and then Atlanta is 002, and then Chicago is 003. So I wanted the Chicago to default whenever I put a customer on this domain. Because since the item is already assigned, so there will not be any problem in progressing the sales order now. Chicago is 003, which I'm going to default onto the sales order. Click on the home icon, and then I go there. I go to the tools, and then I go to the reports and analytics. <coughs> So I will now click on the browse catalog <clears throat> and then I go to the, <clears throat> the browse catalog. I click on the new and then I go to the data model. So new and then data model. And that point. So we are now going to get a new data model for this now. And that point. I will now in the diagram below the plus, what happens? You go there, click on the SQL query, diagram plus and then SQL query. I'm going to do it now. And that. I will now say it's a test one now. And that point. I will now drop it down and then applications DBA first thing was the one for that. So I have a ready-made one available over here now. And that point. So this is a uh, text one, this is the one, and go that point. Uh, before that, what happens, we need to have a sales order number now, and go that point. So we'll have to put a sales order number over here now. And that point. So uh, I have already created a sales order number for 97375, for which, uh, what happens, I now put the customer <coughs> as a computer services and adults, and the fulfill org ID is Chicago actually. And I've already done it now. I created a dummy customer. So you have to create a one uh, dummy sales order in a, your uh, test or a, what's called a developmental instance. And then identify these two things now. Fine. So since I'm using this now, fine, because I want to have now execute this. Now. So I already created one 97375. I'll just show it to you about how it's now looking now. Click on it. <clears throat> so I go to the order management. I go to the order management. And then query the 97375 now. Fine. 97375 is the one. And let me query it now. So it's in the draft mode, and then if you go to this place now, that corner, this place, whatever you can also see, it's a 003 Chicago is the one. So you have to do this on a, on a test instance or a dev instance, and then identify uh, what happens with the arrows which you want now. Fine. So this is a sales order, and then this is a query now. Fine. If you put this query, it will now fetch you the, the sold to party ID as well as the fulfillment dollar ID. Fine. These two things will be fetched, it will now give you the IDs actually. Fine. So it will now go there on this place. Uh, I will now go on and execute this query if I click on OK now. <clears throat> I'm executing the video. You click on it. The G1 query, I'm not clicking on it. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, you click on the data and then I go to the view. When you view it, whatever you want to find this way. So the party ID is what? It's a 95811, the one. 95811. And then it is a 274450 is the org ID. And I've taken a copy of this one. So after having done on a dummy instance, on a test or a dev instance, so you got the party ID as well as your fulfillment org ID with this query actually. Now, let's go there and then we'll now do it now. So having done this, what happens, you go there. I will now write a transformation rule now. <clears throat> Cancel now. <clears throat> so I will now go to the product transformation rules. So manage product transformation rule. Which, what happens, I'm going to write a rule now. So let's now write a rule. So drop it down and then add a rule now. Drop it down and then add a rule. You will know, say, <clears throat> Arrows upon <coughs> customer. Upon customer, I would like to have the arrows getting defaulted on this place. Now I'm going to select it. And then here, I will now expand it now. I'm going to expand it. And then here, I will now still further expand it now. And, go to and then I will now enable the advanced mode on this one. And enable the advanced mode on this one. So enable the advanced mode. So arrows upon customer, and go to click on it. I will now write this now. And go to click on it. So here, the header, if header is, is a kind of a header, a G -A -B -E -R, header, then it will not be coming, you can just leave your tab now, and go to it. And then here, it has to come from a list of values. So it is order transformation rules dot header we go. It is order, order transformation rules dot header we go. This is the one. It's fine. Order transformation rules dot header we go is the one. 
the ready to number there so in the second line you go there click on it and then this place header dot sold to party id fine header dot sold to party id fine go there header dot sold to party id fine so you will as and when keep on writing it will be coming over there now sell dot hold sold to party id <coughs> so to party id <coughs> When I discuss with the technical team, they say that it will come out by gradually by practice. Actually, that's all I mean. So, for content editing, set it out. Sold to party ID. We are there right now. <coughs> the one header dot sold to party ID. <coughs> I know that. Set it out. Put ID is one. I know that. Click on it. And then we have already noted down the ID now. I know that. Double click on it and then we'll paste it out. I'm taking copy and put on this page now. That's it. Fine. My if condition is ready now. If if the header order transformation order header will go. And then the header of sold to party is this one. Then what happens? You're going to give an assert new now. Fine, go there. Click on drop it down. And then we have an assert new in the top now. Fine, go there. Click on it. You know what assert new. So in this place, <coughs> what you're going to write is what <coughs> order transformation rules dot modify entity. <coughs> order transformation rules dot modify entity. Order <coughs> transformation rules dot. Right, half of it will be coming now. Fine, go there. Click on it. So we have to go for EM now. Find A B C D E F, then go down, go down. We are going to modify entity. This one. Find order transformation rules for modify entity. This one. And then click on it, which you want to modify now. And every field on a sales order has got a string actually. If you click on it, what happens? You'll be finding a string now. Fine. You talk to technically, we don't tell you the string of each and every ID now. Find that. So this is what it is a uh, fulfill or ID the one. So double click, double quote, and then F U L F I L L capital O R O R G capital I D. Fine, it has been within the fine. It's very sensitive actually. Fine, F U L F I L L R G D F O and then I are capitals actually. And that's what. So this is a fulfilled R G D is nothing but a arrows actually. We are going to modify the arrows actually. And that's what. And then here now put the object now. And that's what. So we are now having the fulfilled R G D. The one fine double click on it and then now paste it over here now. And take copy it and then paste it over here now. And that's what. Make it as a constant now. So here we had to write one more thing in the bottom. One of them we had to write what is the header dot view row IMP. Header dot view row IMP is the one. I go there, click on it. So I will now again edit it now. <coughs> click on it, edit, and then here again uh, is now gone now. F U L F I L L ID within brackets, and then here it is header dot view row IMP. View row IMP. Ah, uh, it's not coming as a fine row, <coughs> and then IMP <coughs> header dot view row IMP is the one fine. Click on OK now, fine. Click on OK now. See whether it fully fully comes over here now, fine. Come on. So I will again click on it now. Fine. Click on edit now. <coughs> Have a look at it. Uh, everything is OK now, fine. This is the double quotes fulfill or ID. This is the one header dot view row IMP. Fine. U V R and then I are capital now. Fine. Now click on it. All OK. Fine. Click on OK now, and then click on save. That's it. Fine. The rule is written now. So the main tricky part is what the attribute, the fulfill org ID, which you want to modify now. If it is so and so, modify so and so. Fine. So click on release. <clears throat> it is now released to production. So your product transformation rule is now released to production. It is now go on. Then make it stop it. Now you are done now. Fine. Now make it stop it. So click on create order. We can do wonders. Only thing is uh, we have to get streamlined with the way in which it is behaving. Once when you do it. Uh, you can very well do lots of transformation rules on this one, and uh, I have a what's called an item called CM six five triple zero is a one. And this is assigned to Chicago, Chicago also. There is a third organization. Thank you for that. So, but upon customer, the virus is going to default. Now. I click on save now. <coughs> I'm saving it. At the time, what happens? The pre-transformation, the product transformation rule will not fire. Only upon submission, it will fire. Actually, thank you for that. In this place, it's not firing actually. And let us now submit it. So, upon submitting it, it is now the item is assigned to. <coughs> <coughs> three orgs now. <coughs> Master is zero zero zero, and then zero zero one, zero zero two, and zero three zero three. So my rule is now going to bring in zero zero three over here. Now. Fine, click on submit now. Now have a look at it. So you submit it, and then now what happens? Uh, your order must contain at least one order line. I have not added it actually. Fine, click on it. So let me add it. So click on add now. <coughs> so upon adding, I will now give a save now. <coughs> And then let us now submit it. Fine. Well, again, it is now giving lots of uh, problems on this now. Fine. And manage so and so and so and so. I can't get it. I will now give a cancel and then come back again. Fine. Because sometimes it gives lots of issues now. Fine. Click on create order now. I have to add the line. I have not added it. 
on it. So here's one, and then there's a computer synthesis so and that's all. So click on it. And then I'm gonna put CM six five triple zero and your tab. Let me add the line <coughs> and then give a save now. And then let me submit it. So upon submitting it, I had to have what? The warehouse is 003. If you go there and then have it, I click on it. And then click on supply. There will not be any supply at all. I'm going to click on submit. Upon submission, 97378 is the one which we are now submitting it now. So upon submission, you can now see the product transformation rule will fire and then it will now bring in the warehouse over here now. So go to this place and then have it. Click on the supply. Now you see 003 Chicago has come. The item is designed to 001, 002, and 03, but our product transformation rule is now brought in as per this. So this is one such example of what, uh, if so-and-so field is there, and then so-and-so field has to be set to so-and-so. So that can be done with uh, so many modifications. Okay. So talk to technical and then try to find out at least, at least what I want you, all your, uh, the attribute string now, fine, attribute name for each and every field, if you know it. And then uh, through your uh, uh, reports and analytics, we can even bring in those values now. Fine. If you had to write appropriate query, oh, yeah, no, fine. so if you write such a query, <clears throat> then you can even find out whatever fields you want for which you have to have this what the id actually fine. this id is just to be obtained so once when you obtain these two things and then keep it as a ready hand uh, you can even write a bigger query where uh, we can even put star dot star or something like that fine by which what happens it will be it will be bringing in a lot of information in one go itself fine top technical level not your simple query for identifying all the warehouses and then all the parties everything fine go that you want it so that can be done so by which we can now write the product transformation rules to meet your needs actually it's somewhat tough when compared to EBS, but what happens is this is the only way where we have to live with them. And so that will, that will help you in doing it. So this is an example of what if a customer is populated on a warehouse, on a sales order, the warehouse defaults over here. So while before somebody get it, you can even override it, I think probably, but this comes over here as per our product transformation rules. So that's it for me from now on. I know that you want to meet on another video on some other thing. Bye for now.